morning. I know it's like kind of crazy, right? This is like a real morning. And grab my phone so I can also charge it. Um, we've been working since what time, Kev? What time you got here? Ten. Ten ish. It's now twelve. No, I'm gonna here make like nine thirty. Okay, I'm gonna make brunch. Thank you so much. So you guys have been asking me to cook. I really don't like cooking on camera because. I'm gonna make Kevin a Haitian breakfast. That's what I'm gonna do. I like to cook, if you guys know that, you know. But I'm gonna turn some music on and I'm gonna clean the kitchen, clean everything. I just emptied out my flowers. I actually need to, I think I need to call like a floral company and I wanna get on like a monthly thing where flowers come here monthly. I feel like that would be just like a whole situation. So I think I'm gonna do that today. Like go online, try to find something and do some floral arrangements. So every month I can have some fresh flowers, especially considering my nights. Alright. Cause I I love you every time. Public anniversary. All right, so you guys, I'm putting the plates in the oven. They stay hot, so you put the food on here. Your food is hot from the time you start to the time you finish. I am the hostess with the damn hostess. <laughs> All right, you guys, I know this is way too small. I need to go to Atlanta. There's this place in Atlanta that sells those uh, pots. I know everyone's been getting it or whatever, the vessels. I love the shape of that. I do too. It's really nice when you actually put some fresh flowers in there. Um, I'm going to go to this place in Atlanta so I can get like an actual vessel. And I don't know if I want it on top of the island because I have this whole camera situation. Mm -hmm. But I know since the dining room table comes, I think I want to do like a console here. Mm -hmm. And then I could probably put the vessel on top of That's probably what I can do. I think I'm going to purchase the, the thing. Anyway, these uh, floral stems silk ones came from, uh, is it Pottermon or West Elm? Some store, I know it's too big, but you see how tall this is? See, I feel like when I get the pot and I put it over there by the window with the drapery, I think it'll be a whole vibe. But the, the thing is gonna be much wider and I'm gonna put some rocks like I stay still, but this is, I may cut it down maybe three to four inches. But y'all, this is so pretty. It's like, see if I cut it down about three inches, it'll be like right here. Right? I like this. It is a vibe. I'm trying to have everything be a vibe, honey. The financials is a vibe. All right. So these are the flowers. Again, I don't remember where I bought this, you guys, because honestly, this is one of the things that I purchased before I even got into the house. I was just like, I was excited and I wanted to really buy something, but I knew I didn't want to buy something that was going to be like so big that if it didn't go with the house, oh, I'm pushing it over there and I need to put it back. That if it didn't go with the house, it wouldn't be too much of a loss. You guys, I don't even know if you guys can see this, but the place that sells um, the vessel that I want, I actually have two of these. This one is more of like a full circle. The other one, it's um, kind of like an oval. So I'm, I came a little bit closer so you guys can see it. Like I said, I have two. So I'm thinking I want something like this, but in the pot to go by the window so that way when I fix the table, like it'll have something really nice. Plus, you guys remember that greenery that I had also, that's gonna go on the table, but I really do love this. Right now, this is currently sitting on the bookcase, so I think it's really, really pretty. I have just started the base for the portobello mushrooms. What I did is do the tomato basil garlic dash. It's salt free. I did um, the body onion and garlic powder. 
I also did the vegetable garden season, which you guys, the grill mates, I really do love this a whole lot. And then I did a little bit of the body up complete, which has the onion, the garlic mixture in it with some parsley, um, olive oil, and then a little bit of the wish tire sauce in there just to kind of give it like a nice kind of meaty feel to it. So that's going to sit here and kind of marinate just a little bit. I'm going to peel the plantains. I'm going to move the camera so you guys can see a little bit closer. Okay. So to prep the sweet plantain, what I did is cut the top and the bottom tip off and then I'm going to go against one of the veining on the plantain and run my knife right down so I can get an even peel. Then I'm going to cut it in half and then I'm going to take that half and cut it in half and then I'm going to take that half and I'm going to slice it in half. I think it looks really good plated to do it the long way so I like doing it this way. This is really good too if you wanted to do like a I think it's called like banana foster, right? Yeah. I didn't show you guys this, but I did sprinkle just a tiny bit of sea salt over the plantain. Not a lot. I just literally turned it one time. That way you can have that sweet and salty taste on the plantains. So the oil has been heating up. I noticed that it was hot in the center, but not all over. Please don't do this, you guys. The pan is hot and the oil is hot also. But I'm going to go ahead and start taking all of the sweet plantain, lining it into the pan. Once it gets golden brown, that's when I'm going to flip it over, which you guys will see a little bit later on. But this is the method. And as you can see, laying it down is going to be so pretty once it's plated. Now that I'm done, I just put my hand over the grill pan and everything that I'm using is from All Clad. Again, you don't have to get this. There's definitely some other options. But what I'm doing is taking the portobello mushroom that I seasoned, maybe you out five ten minutes prior and I'm putting it into the pan I really love using the grill pan it leaves a beautiful marking on the food to make it feel like you actually grilled and the mushrooms look really really pretty so this is this is what the grill marks look like on the mushroom let me just say I'm using my hand please don't do that please don't do it I am constantly washing my hands as I'm cooking number one number two I just find it easier when I use the tong the food breaks up and I'm constantly fighting so I do find it a little bit simpler just to use my hand but I would highly recommend if you haven't cooked before just don't use your hand I don't want you guys to get hurt or to get burned or something like that so but I'm going to go ahead and start taking the mushroom and taking the plantains out the pan that way it doesn't burn. So I'm going to go in with this pot right here and I'm dropping in the onions and the peppers. That way they can saute and cook. And then once it gets really nice and a beautiful color, I'm going to go ahead and add in the beef sausage. I'm going to be allowing the butter to melt in the pan next to it for the eggs. You guys, this really helps the eggs to smell really good and takes away that hard um raw smell out of the eggs i want y'all to see this is the sausage and the egg mixture in the pan and then i have the butter in here getting hot so since he wants his in I'm going to go ahead and pour that in here. Sorry, you guys, I didn't realize my camera wasn't recording and this part is blurry, so I do apologize. What I did is once I dropped the butter, I allowed everything to kind of loosen up and I dropped the egg. Um, I dropped all of the meat and everything back into the smaller pan and then I put the eggs in. I want to say I made a total of eight eggs because there's quite a bit of us in the house. So all I'm doing is flipping the eggs over. I love this, you guys. The eggs are super thick and fluffy, kind of like an omelet. The trick is to cook it on medium, allow it to kind of puff up. And once it puffs up, then start kind of flipping it over. That way you have some really nice and thick, fluffy eggs and everybody gets really good and full. Kevin is like, he only wants to have the sweet, I make sweet plantains. So there's sweet plantains and there's green plantains. So the green plantain is normally green. You would slice it, um, 
slanted like when you do like a sausage or something like that and you would let it get golden brown and then you would flatten it water and salt and then you would refry it the sweet plantain you don't have to really do the same thing you can slice it pretty thin and then fry it just don't let it get burnt or if you like it like that then that's fine whatever but i made sweet plantain the eggs the peppers all that that's what i have right so kevin says and i want if you know leave it in the description box say it kevin is like he only wants to have his plantain like this because when I, I said Do, have you already had breakfast he said no I came straight here when I got up and I hadn't eaten anything either and so I was like well I feel like actually making something so I said let's have brunch since it was already about to be like 12 o'clock anyway we've been, we've been working okay. and in that sweet and salty kind of I made a small pan of it and I've done it twice but y'all if you have like made sweet plantains or plantains in general and you've eaten it with something, drop down below. Cause one of these days I'm gonna cook again and I'm gonna make Kevin something. Cause he, he said he didn't like plantains. He's like, I don't like plantains. I think what? the way it was made. You said the way it was made? Where that. did you eat it from? We kind of had it out of the restaurant. Just First of all, you can't go to everybody's restaurant and have stuff. I already told you so. I was cooking over here one day. I said, Kevin, you wanna eat? He was like, no, you know, my friend gonna cook. I was like, do you want a for sure good meal or do you want a questionable good meal? He was just like, you know what? I'll just try a little bit. <laughs> and then midway of him about to leave, he gets a phone call like, how do I make this? I said, hold up. The person who's going to cook for you is asking you how to make it? I was like, are you sure you don't want to eat? Are you positive? Because I know what I'm doing in the kitchen now. You know what I'm saying? But anyway. I'm still eating y'all. <laughs> I'm still eating. I'm still, I'm still eating. I'm still eating salad casserole food. <laughs> months later, I'm still eating. Yeah, months later, he's still I'm eating still the bun. Y'all, first of all, y'all know if when I'm ready to cook, I cook. Because I really do enjoy it. It's like, I'll say it's my second passion for sure. Plantain, legging, sauce pork, and white rice. Ultimate mix. Oh, wait, you guys have all legumes. And you gotta have licking when I put crab in there. <laughs> My God. You yeah. will not go home. You will stay here oh and God. sleep. Oh I know you did. Your plate is clean, baby. I don't even want to show y'all his plate because y'all gonna be like, what the food in that damn plate? It's, it's clean. God. <laughs> God, you left the hand with the cup. Oh, so thank you, thank you. I'm receiving, honey. I'm receiving the name of Jesus. I'm receiving. And so the kitchen is the heart of a home. Oh. All right, you guys, so now that we're done eating, I'm going to go ahead and start emptying out the dishwasher so I can wash the dishes and I'm going to go ahead and clean up the kitchen. I really do love my kitchen, you guys. I'm so happy that I took the time out to do the upgrade. I'm so happy that I went with white during my build and I got a different color island. Overall, I don't know, like I feel extremely, extremely, extremely blessed. Um, for everything it's this year in general you're gonna see me dancing throughout this video that's because we're listening to music and me and Kevin are goofing and laughing today was actually an extremely productive day we got a lot of things done um, connected a few dots with some client installs and some deliveries in general so today was actually a really productive day so I'm extremely grateful for Kevin. Kevin, if you're watching, thank you so much for being an awesome, awesome assistant. But you guys, I'm going to go ahead and clean. And as I was cleaning, I got a packet. So we're going to enter into a very small haul. Fit me so I ordered these YSLs 
你把哦。Well, like I already knew these is I like these a lot. I actually looked for them online to buy brand new They were not available at all. So then I was like, let me just look consignment and I was pretty Stoked and they're really in good condition considering but, All right, you guys these are the last pair of shoes. I already looked at them. I give them a, a four. You give them a four because you ain't really seen them on your mama's foot yet. Yeah, you see them like grandma's shoes <laughs> First of all, can you wait when it's on my feet before you say something? Okay. Not really. Again, I apologize, you guys. Um, again, I apologize because my feet is ashy. I'm not gonna go put lotion on because I'm cleaning. So I wanted some summer slingbacks. Again, I do apologize, my feet is ashy, y'all, but I wanted some summer slingbacks and I really loved the ball detail on these here. So I, I really like these a whole lot. I'm gonna have to do like a styling thing where you guys actually get to see it styled. Cause I know, I know me sitting on this step ain't really doing any justice. So what you rate these? Let me sit to the side so I could be like, if I was out. You give them a 10? Yeah, I give them a nine. Okay. Because now you have to imagine I have like a cute little clutch. Yeah, that's why I just like A cute little dress on with my blazer. Rolled up. Probably my black one. Do you remember you remember what my slip dress looks like? It has the craw neck in the split mm -hmm. with the black blazer. Cute little date. It's a cute little date look. Let me I'm not dating. I don't want y'all to get confused when I said that. I'm just planning for future dates when I do start the date. You know what I'm saying? Because I'm going somewhere, honey. I, I, I don't know where, but I'm going somewhere. No, this is the flirt set. When you ain't really trying to flirt and like you around somebody that you're like, I just want to be friends, you be like, what? <laughs> That's how you sit. You like, yo, what are we gonna do? Like, but when you like somebody, you just gotta be like, so where are we going? And then you gotta do a little, mm hmm, you're so cute. That's the flirt set. You sound like my friend. <laughs> what friend is this? All right, you guys. The haul is over, but the fun has not stopped. If you guys could just see what's going on on the other side of the camera, it was a whole situation. But I'm cleaning up the kitchen because I did stop to do the unboxing. If you guys are wondering, the items are from the real, real. I'm going to go ahead and clean up. And I'll see you guys back in a little bit. We found love here. Together we will shine. But we know we're running out of time. Cause we met like strangers in the night. Don't tell me it's over. Now you got that something in the way you smile. I see that spark.
Okay, so Joseph is currently in the garage and he's building the Shelby unit. And this is the green cabinet you guys be stressing me out about. It's gonna go on the side right here. So pretty much Joseph is gonna put the piece up here, piece up here, and then it's gonna be the shelving. So these Christmas boxes, you guys, my garage is a hot mess. I done cleaned it. <gasps> I done cleaned it and it's right back to being a hot mess again. Let me move back so I can show y'all. So basically this shelving right here is going to go on top right here. And then once it gets done, I'm going to paint it. Something else. I try to park over here, but it's too tight. So I'm going to have to have the bikes moved over on this side. All the extra wood pieces over here. That's right there. It's going to have to be on this side. All this stuff here is trash. Y'all know my trash people love me. I have the wine cooler. These right here are boxes that has like perfume and stuff in it that I cleaned out yesterday that I packed up. That's why I said I am gonna be doing um, a haul thing. The crate came with that. I had I ordered some stuff for the kids for Christmas, Christmas trees, a rug right here for the house. And then this is the wall art that I told you guys I was gonna keep the box, so. And that's what's going on you guys that's what is going on at the house joseph thank you again yes 